everyone welcome back so today we are going to cut jessica down to size we target all of her businesses that she has remaining and make sure that she understands that in hell's kitchen we are number one we also look at our logistical issues that we'll run into absorbing all these businesses and we also take care of some staffing issues that consistently keep coming up obviously guys if you enjoy the videos i've been putting out and if you enjoy this video give me a thumbs up I truly appreciate it. And of course, as always, if you have not done so yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have subscribed, thank you very much for your view. And I also appreciate every single one of you that also leaves comments as well. Let's get this started. So we are now on day 260. It is Monday, day 260. We are currently sitting still at number one on the leaderboard. We are still targeting Jessica Johnson. So I have obviously, first off, I've gone through a few days here to get some more money. I paid my taxes as well. So that was another 6.3 million down the drain. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm looking at currently 710,000 in the bank, another 3.9 million in investments, which what I've been doing is kind of putting in some money as time goes by just to give myself a cushion. So I'm actually going to pay this one out. I'm keeping this one. This will go towards taxes. So anything I throw into alliances goes into taxes. But with Asia Dynamic, I'm just going to pay this out. And I'm going to try to take over another one of Jessica's businesses. Now, I, I talked about this a little bit last video going from the top down just to kind of eliminate her highest income and going down to her lowest income as the last business that we purchased i think i'm still gonna stick with that so we're gonna start with another of kebabs kebabs so it's 2.9 million currently as the evaluation we already know she's not going to be as willing to sell so we need to worry about how much is she actually going to ask for i think having the 4.6 million is adequate we're going to start basically at a million over. So if we do 3.9 million, will she accept over a million of the valuation? No. <laughs> what about 975? Nope, not 39 million. Nope. 4.1. There we go. 4.1 million. So we have a new fast food location. First thing we need to do is take a look. Where are we? We're on first street in hell's kitchen. So inventory and pricing wise, we're selling salads, soda, French fries, and chicken kebab skewers. It seems very minimalistic. Do we have, we do have the 30 capacity. That's accurate. Perfect. All right. And this is what our schedule looks like a mess. Of course. I don't know why we would be closed between six and 12. But we are we're just gonna do this do this not that we're gonna kill these hours here or the schedule send that to 24 hours and we'll sort this i'm gonna sort this in the background after last video we, we've seen this we know what cleaning up the schedule looks like but yeah, we don't we don't need to go through this right now. We are going to temporarily close here because we need the logistics set up and everything like that. So next thing we need to do now is knock her down to another peg. So we're again looking at probably another four million dollar purchase. Unfortunately, let's meet back when I have enough money for that. All right, folks, we're back again. We now have another 4.4 million sitting in our bank account. Let's take a look at Jessica here. Her next best business is AZ Wines, a liquor store on 3rd Avenue in Hell's Kitchen. We are definitely going to try to take this guy over. Let's see if we can get away with three and a half million. Nope. Just going to be another 4 million plus, I'm sure. Boom, 4 million. Okay. So she is selling wine, beer, whiskey, margarita, cigars. She's not selling 
martinis, apparently, for some reason. Let's make sure all this is accurate. 1523. Perfect. Everything looks good there. Schedule wise, I'm sure it's all funky, but let's make sure everyone's happy. Steve Rausch. Nope. Once again, the AI has failed to do a proper schedule. Let's see what happens when we hit autofill all. I already have a good idea of what's going to happen. But let's see what actually happens. That actually, hold on, let me do this real quick. Okay, it does fill the whole week. So that's, okay. That's what the AI is doing, is just hitting autofill all. Hovgard, you've got to put like a weighted system on this because there's no reason a full-timer should only be getting 12 hours. Whereas a part-timer is getting 20, for instance. Like, that doesn't does not compute <laughs> all right so let's kill this off we're not going to do the schedule together just because it's tedious but actually you know what why don't i do the schedule once again but i'll just time lapse it i think that'll be fine all right so let me go through this here real quick and i'll get this all situated and we will get this going Okay, so we should be squared away. Every single person, aside from the health insurance, should be good to go. Oh, Loretta Newman at... Uh, no weekends. <laughs> Alright, so that was a lie. <laughs> let's, let's change Lydia here with Loretta. Man. AI needs to hire better. This is really bad and annoying. Though, I wonder if the... Oh, this is terrible. All right. Let's put Lydia here. Take Loretta off. Oh, I can't go there. Okay, now everything should be squared away. So if we hover over, everybody should, aside from the health insurance, be good to go. Let's just double check that's the case. Nancy Victor, no morning shifts. Okay. We're good now. We have them. Wow. That's so annoying. Anyway, going back to the rivals here, we've now bumped Jessica to number 13, which is good. Next up is Style by Todd, also and still in Hell's Kitchen, another 2.7 million. I guess we'll just meet back up at that point. Just keep on going. It's just chugging it out one at a time. So in between these days, I had to fix some logistics issues. I had a car accident. Thought I fixed all the logistics issues and still ended up having more. So I brought myself down to AJ Peterson yet again to buy some more pallet shelves. Brought those bad boys back to the warehouse to set them up to complete the warehouse out. Then I had some schedules to fix because, of course, everyone has an issue over time. <laughs> then I had one final business that I completely forgot that I purchased and it was starting to run out of product. And it ended up being Liquor Madness 14. And finally, just before we met back up, I had one more thing to take care of. I had one of my office employees demanding 
an executive office desk, of course. So we had to hook up Jacqueline with that as well. Which now leads us back to Jessica. So taking a look at Jessica's current businesses, uh, I noticed that she actually opened up, it looks like a new urban boutique and a Hortensia. Not 100% sure if those are new or not, but they're new to me. But it looks like she got rid of one other place because now she's down to seven businesses. I believe she was at eight when I bought her last business. I could be wrong. I honestly don't remember, but it's whatever. <laughs> so let's take a look. So Hortensia is her most, uh, or her highest income, I should say. So let's take a look at that one. It's 2.6 million. We have 3.5. Let's just see if she'll take three. Maybe she will. We don't know. No, she won't. What about two, three, two fifty? Three fifty? Four hundred? Oh boy. About to be priced out if she doesn't take it. All right. Fine. I'll take out my money that I was saving for taxes. I just want her business so bad. I want her to crumble so bad. So, so bad. So let's try 3.6 million since she wouldn't take 3.5. <laughs> well, at least we can do this. So we have 1 million at the moment. Let's go talk to Jensen Capital, who I've been actually putting my, my tax money into. We'll just put all but... Yeah, we'll just put all of it in there. That's fine with me. All right, so let's take a look at Hortensia here. So, first things first, let's change that name. Let's call this Flowers and Such. Perfect. Make the logo green. Font can be white. Background can be black. Looks good to me. It's fine and dandy. All right. So, Let's see what the scheduling looks like. And as usual, it is complete and utter crap. So we'll turn that on, get rid of all these, extend the hours from six to seven. I think that should be sufficient. And let me take care of the schedule here real quick. Okay, so I said, screw it. Got rid of everybody because everyone's demands and everything was just messed up and I just got all new employees. So flowers and such is now taken care of. We're looking good here. We need to adjust our pricing here to match what we're looking at currently with our minimums, which is perfect. So we have expensive flowers, cheap flowers and soda cans, which is like practically nothing to deal with. What is this, a uh, 225? Yeah, it's 225. And it's a good traffic 225 too, in Hell's Kitchen. So let's get the logistics done for this place now. Now granted, I have most of the, so the way I did the logistics now is what I did in my prior playthrough. There's gonna be a central warehouse where it's gonna go to different warehouses and then different warehouses are, right now they're not purposefully specific. Two of them though are, however specific, simply because we have so many liquor stores. That being said, I'm still going to stick with this one being in the central warehouse simply because the stuff is still here. We don't need a whole lot. We're just going to pretend that this is it and leave it at that. So I'm going to say 300 flowers there. Let's do 300 on that. 2000 paper bags and I don't know, 400 soda cans. That should be sufficient. If I go to my purchasing agent, look for my flowers. Let's actually just do this. 600, 600. Boom. We should be good to go at that point. That should be all we need. So hopefully that pans out there. Now it's essentially the next step with Jessica and that's just getting her next business. So let's get to it. All right, we are back. Let's see if we have sufficient income to take out Urban Boutique. So let's just start with the, well, let's start with 2.8 million. 
No, I knew that wasn't going to happen. Boom. 3.1 million. Excellent. Okay, cool. So in between all of what I've done, obviously it's just a lot of sleeping, etc. It is what it is. There's, we've already talked about this in the last video. There's no, there's no middle of the, like middle of the game stuff. The end game is this. And the early game is building up your business. So there just needs to be something in between. But in between all this, I have been assaulted <laughs> with tons and tons of issues from the importers uh, missing stuff not having space like it's just been a non-stop onslaught of problems which has really drawn down my my per day income unfortunately which whatever that's fine well we've figured it out we're, we're okay but it has just been absolutely non-stop and for long periods of time like this doesn't give justice i think i think it was seaside one of these was just yeah since day 270 and it's even been before then but it's just been something every time which is a lot different from what i remember before there wasn't nearly as many out of stock issues but now there seems to be quite a bit more anyway let's take a look at the business we just purchased which i don't even remember what that was Oh, we got to open that back up. Oopsie. Forgot to do that. That's funny. I think it was a clothing store, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go to business types here. Yeah, Urban Boutique. There we go. So we are located in Hell's Kitchen. Again, I know it's Jessica Johnson's area, but she doesn't always have things in Hell's Kitchen. But anyway, we'll call this Jessica's Jeans. Like a taunt. A good taunt. And we'll even make it look uh, fancy. <laughs> but yeah, to total taunt towards Jessica. Now look at the schedule. What is... And they're closed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? What Are, do you, are you a nightclub? What's going on here? This is madness. <laughs> We're closing that up here and we'll take care of this our own way here. All right, schedule's taken care of. I still need to get security guards, but I don't have them on a headhunter right now, which is okay. We'll we'll take care of that at some other point. We'll just open that right back up. Let's take our uh, pricing here. A bit, a bit much at the moment. We're just going to bring that right back down. Perfect. Okay, and it looks like they have more clothes than I normally do. So, once again, I have to go and get logistics done here, which at this point, I've run out of space in my logistics location here. So, I'm going to have to figure out another warehouse now, which that's okay. I can figure that out. But,. Where is Jessica now? So she has five businesses remaining. Oops. The one thing I, I wish we could also do is just if I if I click a business and if I hit close, it should go back to the last screen. Just similar to how when you're in the map, you open up a business and then you close that out. You're back at the map. Can I have that, please? Thank you. Anyway, so this one's two million. We're just going to round up. So 2 million for this business. 1.2 million for this one. 1 million. 1.1 million. We'll just still round up even though it's minuscule. All right. That's looking better. I think we can get away with uh, possibly like 6 or 7 million. Let's try that. Let's meet back up once we reach that amount and uh, go from there. All right, guys. So we have 7.4 million. Jessica has a new business, which we can't even take out 
because she owns the building as well. So she won't even let me rent from her, which is just hilarious. Let's see if we can take this one out at least. Actually, let's 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 just go with two million. And see if we can get that first. Okay, I'm assuming it'll be two and a half. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, business number one. Business number two. Oof. Business number three. We have 1.2 million remaining. Business number four. Oh, come on. Let us take this one. Business number five. So Jessica Johnson now currently sits with just one business, which unfortunately she owns the building that's worth $451 million. I can't buy the building. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to. No, it's not going to happen. It's not. We can't overtake because she owns the building. I've already tried. So, effectively speaking, right now, we're done with her. I mean, we're not actually done because we need to take out her last business, but we are done. We are no longer dealing with her extra businesses that she has or had, I should say. So we have all four of these businesses here, Urban, Urban Boutique, which is a clothing store, books around the corner, obviously a bookstore, Reader's Refuge, also a bookstore, and then finally the Busy Goat, a coffee shop. So we're going to just close these right now. And we'll fix them on the next, or well, in time for the next video. We're not going to fix them on the video. There's just no reason to. But... We are looking good now to take her out completely and hopefully take her out completely. There we go. All these are closed now. Yeah. Okay, cool. So our next target. Oh. Interesting. Terry overtook Huang Guo. So Terry is now the top dog. How? What happened to the supermarkets? <laughs> huh. By the way, here you go. Terry's top dog. So, Long Guo is going to be our next target here in Midtown. Though they, they have very similar incomes. In fact, $5,000 separates the two. So, who knows? It doesn't really matter, I guess, on who we target next. But, we are definitely going to be targeting... One of the... Like, we could do both at the same time. Probably Terry makes the most sense to start with. There's no way. I, 23 million. I'd have to ha probably pay like 40 million or some crazy crap just to take over the business. So we'll see. But I think this is actually a good place to stop. We are still sitting atop. Number one, 4.1 million. We obviously have had a dip. I've already showed you all the crazy lack of products, etc. that I've been running into. So it is what it is there, but we'll climb right back up. It's okay. But Jessica's at the bottom. Only one business left. And again, like I said, I can't take it over. I literally can't. It won't let me do it. So it is what it is. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, obviously give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button below if you haven't done so yet. And let me know in the comments. What do you think I should do in terms of these two guys? Or should I try eliminating the rest of these rivals? They would be much easier to obviously eliminate than anyone else, but I like the idea of taking these guys out as well. So let me know, guys. Anyway, I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.